Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition Alpha 30 with Dion Fortune. She is Welsh, you know. Yes, she is Welsh. Just let that sink in for a second. Welsh. <laughs> anyway, we are on Expedition 6 of 6. Our fame is going well. We have, I wouldn't say lots of money, we have enough money to get through the next expedition, okay? And it doesn't matter that we're in first place. It doesn't matter that we've got some cash monies ready to spend. What matters is finding this Necronomicon. We have not seen hide nor hair of it. And I have no idea where we're going to find it. So we've just got to keep cracking on. I don't think, in all honesty, it's going to pop up in the in the prehistoric lands in the last expedition. So we're just, we're just playing for pride now. We're, we're playing for those fame points. We're playing to finish, to not get Dion killed. No one likes an upset Welsh person. So, let's crack on. Without further ado, let's let's do it. Boom. Go. Done. Full of anticipation, I stored my equipment on the ship. The crew had preparations left to do, so I had one last pot of tea. We were approached by the soldier that had asked f us to find Conrad the deserter. Upon hearing that we had no proof of for finding Conrad, he was quite upset. Well, yeah. I had a brief conversation with a scout. He had acquired a treasure map that he was willing to part with. For a price... Mm, see, we haven't got a lot of space, so I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. As I was one of the most famous explorers, the boarding of our ship had attracted some attention. I was approached by several capable persons that were eager for, e eager, were eager for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? We have Brother Layafet, the missionary, who is a sexist. We have Jacques Poubouchet, uh, the artist, who is, well... An artist, and we have Gabriel Genevieve, Viva la Dure, the artist. Ugh, I'm artists. Pooey. Um, there's nothing wrong with either of them, I suppose. Let's. Uh, do we get, we get increased maximum sanity if we take the brother, don't we? Um, that's the rest of three missions as well. It's not bad uh, against painting pictures. Although we do have blue dice, and blue dice are handy for our dynamite. So let's go with let's go with Jacques. Why not? We could use an artist and welcome Jacques Poubouche in our trek. Just in time, the vessel was prepared for departure. Okay, purchase equipment. All right, as it stands, we're going to need lots and lots of chocolate. We're going to need oh, we got we got some torches. We're doing account okay torches. Um, what do we take pictures? Uh, take pictures of what do we paint pictures of? Uh, anything, I suppose. Um, do we want any more? We've got lots of rope. Uh, we're probably going to need machetes, so we'll take all the machetes. That's one for one. Um, how much are they worth? Ten. So let's take all of those. Let's take all the dynamite. Um, should we take some bullets? How much are the bullets worth? What's that? Eight? Eight for a bullet? Uh, I, mm, how much is the rifle worth? Oh, way too much. Okay. Um, let us take... Let us... Oh, let's take some bullets. Screw it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll leave ourselves with one pound. One pound. I rejoice as the ship was prepared to set sail. Well, we better go then. Expedition six of six with the Welsh lady. And we are generating wonders at the end. That is that that's that's hopeful. I, I know I emphasize this as in the last thing it generates, but it really doesn't mean anything. So don't get you know too hung up on that, please. I was finishing up my morning toilet as we arrived at our expedition earlier. I knew this land held one or two special surprises for us. This will end in tears. Oh, have you been with us before, Jax? Sounds like you have. Uh, let's begin the expedition. All right, so uh, as it stands, uh, we might as well upgrade them as much as we can. Because we've got nothing to lose. And it means we might paint some prettier pictures. Oh, we get an extra set of dice. Oh! Uh... <gasps> I had to send Jacques Poupouche away. Captain Derek Lawrence warned me about the consequences. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. He's, he's fully upgraded. That's all I wanted to do. Right, cool. Let's get out of here before I get into more trouble. 
Uh, oh, village straight away. Today we reached a village. We entered the settlement of a peculiar race of large lizard people. We were not the only visitors in this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beast master had set up a few mysteriously covered crates. Ugh. The villagers seemed to be very happy with our appearance and welcomed us with open arms. We seem to be very popular in this region. Cool. Uh, right, so we've got 13 teeth. What's the Beastmaster got? I greeted the Beastmaster. This trader seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wildest local and lo of the wildest local wildlife. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts locked away in, in, in massive wooden cages. With a broad smile, he declared to have something very special on offer today. A white tiger for 15. So I just need two teeth. Okay, okay, okay. We felt more than welcome and the villagers were seemingly excited about our presence. Please have some teeth. Boo! Okay, we might come back to you because the white tiger sounds groovy. Uh, as it stands, we don't really need anything. So let's uh, let's just crack on. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. Oh no, cancel. <laughs> we did not come to an agreement with the natives. Uh, right, let's leave. We can always come back here. I told the men to pack up and departed as new adventures awaited us. Indeed. Uh, we could try and go and kill a crab. It's a good way to kill ourselves quick, I suppose. What's over here? A hut. A hut, a hut, a hut, a hut. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was a dark and a damp in the side. And all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. Oh. With all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. I read that completely wrong. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Uh, we could clean some people up. That could be handy. Ask for a cleansing. The shaman was willing to offer his services, but demanded payment up front. He promised that after his ritual, the patient would be cured of all kinds of mental sicknesses. Ah. Or, uh, because it's only Derek has got something wrong with him. Yeah. Okay. Um... We did not come to an agreement with the shaman. Let's trade. Very slowly, the, dra the drayman. The shaman got out a small box and presented his wares. What's his name? Oh, to her. Yeah, it's her. She's got a booby out. Oh, that's not kid worthy. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, we need uh, a green mushroom. And it'd be nice to have the dinosaur skull. We'll reveal a prehistoric region on the world map when brought back home. Uh, not that we can... Ooh, maybe, ooh, maybe that could be the way we get Expedition 7. Let's take it. Let's take it. Um, right, so what can we have? You can have the Scorpion Stings. And you can have some empty canvases. And a couple of ropes. No, you don't have normal ropes. Uh, another canvas. And I will... Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's, that's, that's well. That's swell. After some negotiating, negotiating, we came to an agreement with the shaman. Cool. That will do. Okay. So, um, as it turns out, we can't carry all this. Uh, we will use the mushroom. No, we will not cancel the mushroom. We will use the mushroom. We set up camp to consume the mushrooms and give it to Captain Derek. Captain Derek Lawrence ate the mushroom with great delight. He went into some sort of trance for several hours. Afterwards, he was a better person. That's how I find my drugs are, are, are most useful. They make you better people. Are we in the centre of the region? We are. And we've been pulled sort of... Well, all over the place at the moment. Uh, with that in mind, we want to avoid the crabby crab crab. Let's go north. See what that be. Also, as we take our jungle, we'll use up machetes. Uh, right, it's a shrine. Don't really want to be taking the shrine and upsetting the natives. So, I want to, in fact, does the beastmaster? I don't think the beastmaster counts, does it? Uh, we are full, though. No, we'll leave the shrine. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, we can attack the raptors. Let's attack the raptors first. Three of them. Ugh. Twelve or twelve. Okay. Uh, right, so roll. Right, let's let's use the one first and take half their health off. Uh, you can't throw in a one, can you? No. Okay, so what's that? A precise attack, punctuation, and strong bleeding. 
So there's a good chance that one's going to die next. Uh, oh, we got bullets. Uh, okay, let's roll. Let's see what we get first. Pistol shots. Quick shots. Uh, we shall... We shall let that go. We might be looking to be able to get a kickoff. Oh, well. Evade. That'll do, I suppose. Um, should we use some bullets? I can only use three, so I can't kill anything outright. I think that'll die from bleeding anyway, so... Uh, let's end the round. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I say we just throw the dynamite in again. It's too early in the expedition to be actually uh, risking too many rounds with these guys. We stripped what was useful from the remains. And we. Oh, we want all of your teeth. Uh, you can keep those five. Uh, what's going on here? Right, okay. That's better. Alright, uh, what are we going to use next? Well, nothing really, are we? No, let's have all close. Alright, cave time. What you got for me? We approached a cave. The entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountain. We needed a torch in order to venture into its depths. We lit the torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a small opening in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person could fit into the opening. Why, why couldn't I send anyone in? Okay, fine. Okay, no probs. Whatever. Uh, right. Um, let's go back to the village. Let's go and visit the Beastmaster. I want a white tiger. I deserve a white tiger. Things aren't going well. Enter the village. Right, first things first. We return to the village. The villagers welcomed us with smiles on their faces. Our reputation seemed to be very good in this region. Beastmaster, I greeted the Beastmaster. The tr traders seemed to roam the air to catch some of the wildest lo local wildlife. White tiger. He accepted our offer and handed us a chained white tiger. It seemed to have taken quite some beating recently, and with the help of the chain, we might be able to keep it under control. With a broad smile, he declared to have something very special on offer today. No, you don't, because I've just bought it. Back to the village. Our time with the natives was a delight. They remained friendly and offered us more help. Okay, so let's trade. And we will take the gold and the berries and you can have all of the canvas all of the teeth and we'll make it up in rope no we won't you can have a dynamite and one rope yeah that'll do that'll do i came to an agreement with the villagers cool and uh, let's be done here we got ready and headed out as new adventures could be waiting around the next corner you have too many track members. Right, and we're going to drop Jacques. Dismiss. I pondered whether it was better to part with Jacques Poupouche. Captain Derek Lawrence warned me about the consequences. Dismiss. I let him go. Sorry, Jacques. Alright, so. Oh, Missy Yori. Look at that. Missouri, we'll call you. Missouri. Um, White Tiger. Because, like, why not? Why not indeed? Right, so, uh, 95. Let's eat these berries to free the space up. And we can carry on. As if nothing ever happened. Oh, why did we return to the village? Me and my pressing of stuff. Get out of here. Go, go. Right, so. Oh, there's a fire over there. And the crab's still hanging around that, which isn't good. Uh, so it's... Crabs to the left of me, pigmas to my right. Here I am. Stuck in the middle with Missouri. Do we... Do we try and take out a crab? Is that just suicide? I could... That, that That's probably just suicide, isn't it? We could carry on going north. Um, it's... The compass is still sort of going all over the place, which doesn't really help. And there's no hills we can climb anywhere near. Let's carry on going north. We'll, we'll go as far as we can go. Oh dear. Oh, we could have stopped at the shrine. But we are full. Oh, 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 cancel. Too many stuff we, we'll be giving up here. Now, why the hell would you go to there to do that? Why wouldn't you just go across? 16, there we go. 
Weird. Oh, we're up to nest. Ah! We approached a huge structure that partially seemed to be made out of pure gold. We found some kind of mechanism on one of its sides. With some time, we would probably be able to activate it. However, what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. Do it. After many hours of research, we were successful to decipher the mysterious mechanism. All of a sudden, a huge beam of light emerged from the seal. Oh! Ah, oh, looks like we've got another two to find. Uh, we could go to the right as a... Well, we can't really, can we? Um, it looks like the pygmies are actually hunting us down. The zombie pygmies. It's like they've got our scent, the way they're homing in on us. Uh, I'm not too fussed by the... Mm, I suppose we can check out the raptor's nest. I'm not going to worry about a baby raptor, though. It's just not worth the hassle. We arrived at what seemed to be a raptor breeding ground. We had to make haste as every second put the whole group in deadly peril. I was certain there was something to find here. We spread out and searched the area. One of the nests held an intact raptor egg. Even though it would put our expedition at great risk, such a finding would prove to be absolutely valuable. Yeah, no. And we'll crack on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, a shrine. Right. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in light before us. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. Waist-high stairs led up to an enormous doorway. The structure was slightly tilted and sunken into the ground. The ground seemed stable enough to enter it, though. Okay, well, if the ground's stable enough to enter it, I don't fear it. We had found a sacred altar room. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Lots and lots of gold. Okay. Um, 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 um. Yeah. Uh ground was that mountains i think it's mountains let's take 59 we can drink the whiskey so let's take all this was not a day of hesitation we took what we came for we grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as the ground disappeared behind us we were we, we, we would have to run for our lives to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm it was beginning to form rubbish 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 okay so uh, it looks like we're about to split the map in two. So where do we want to end up? It mm, so it's, the compass is going from east to west. So that would say to me, with no, oh hang on, we've got a magnetic mountain just north of us. So my guess would be. So it's actually. It's, it's exactly the same. It's probably closer to the east than it is the west, looking at the compass. So let's head north where it's 91. Drink two whiskies. 21 now. Okie dokie. We could not escape. We were going straight north. What? Oh, it was because we were south of the shrine, wasn't we? Oh, we fell into the smallest hole again. <sighs> well, there we go. As you can probably tell, I haven't been feeling it with Dion. I haven't been... I didn't start off very well. And we messed up in the middle with the whole recording of Expedition 4, which was an enjoyable one. And since then, I've, all, I've been a bit meh with her. Um, I am going to stick to my theory of checking out any maps with portals and we will go into portals and see if we can find an economicon in there because i think that's where it's going to be but as it stands it will have to be of a different character uh usually i'd be very obsessed on that but i'm just like glad it's over let's move on to the next one and, and crack on so there we go and there ends the story of dion fortune the welsh wizard and <laughs> uh the occultist and yeah, as I said, it was okay. It was it was nothing special. Uh, it didn't start very well, and it, it sort of plateaued in the middle. So never mind. We made a lot of money. We had the decent fame. We probably would probably would have finished first. We wouldn't have opened up anything for it other than uh, having a gold frame around her uh, picture, which yeah, it's, it's it's okay, isn't it? It's nothing to write home about or get excited about. So uh, there we go. Game over. Never mind. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.